our reviews would kill you is proud to present the top five reasons why the army of the dead is quite possibly the best but most definitely the worst movie of all time Oh, I, oh, I'm here. Okay. Well, here's uh, here's the top five reasons why this shit is the absolute worst. Bad characters. The character on the screen. What's that guy's name? I know he has a chainsaw. Did he use the chainsaw? I don't really know. Does he live? Does he die? Does anyone really give a shit? I'm pretty sure he might have said five words because Zack Snyder can't write a script. The reason why this is the greatest movie of all time, it's a spiritual successor to George A. Romero's Land of the Dead, where zombies are not quite the zombies that you're used to. These zombies, they they think. Maybe they have feelings. Maybe they could do more. And then bad decisions. Dear Lord, is this movie littered with bad decisions? The zombie queen... Well, there's two bad decisions, actually. If you look up the zombie queen in real life, that girl is hot as fuck. But that's not the bad decision here. The bad decision was when uh, Whitey McDumbfuck, the whatever his name is, I don't know because I don't care, cuts off her head. Dude's right by the exit, doesn't actually leave. He walks in and continues a heist. That's not needed. Number four. It's a remake of Aliens. Who doesn't love Aliens? James Cameron's Aliens. It's the best. Look, remember that part where they dropped the light sticks so they could find Newt? Remember that? That was a good part. Look, it's Bishop. Look, he for, he leaves. Bishop leaves. And then Bishop comes back. Just like Tig Notaro. Look, it's Vasquez. Vasquez was cool. I like Vasquez. And then plot holes. Boy, do these have bigger holes than when I was gaped by my priest. <sighs> okay, well, let's, let's go to the end. Uh, just like sex for me. When it ends, it's the best part. And the plot hole is when there's a helicopter and they go and save the lady that this whole sort of movie is based off of. And the helicopter crashes. This bitch isn't anywhere to be found. And they don't even reference it. Did she die? Did she live? Did you go open an Indian restaurant in New Delhi? Who knows? But we don't. Tiger Zombies. Who doesn't like Tiger Zombies? We've always wanted to see a Tiger Zombie. Now we get that Tiger Zombie. You know you wanted it. It's the best. Time Issues. This is like Christopher Nolan wrote this movie with Tenant Inception in mind. Because there's a zombie horse that apparently has NOS injected into its asshole. Because you know what this zombie horse can do more than any normal horse? Beat a helicopter across the Las Vegas Strip. Because it's, it's basically a super horse. Number two. Dave Bautista. Dave Bautista's great. He's a great dude. I like him. He was Drax. He's pretty good as Drax. It's a good deal. I like Drax. It's good in this movie. And last but not least, robot zombies. I feel like I don't really need to say much about the robot zombies other than how do the zombies have metal under their skin? That doesn't make any sense. Why does it Why does it happen? Do they explain it? No. Is there any precipice as to like, why, why are their eyes glowing blue? That doesn't even make, why? Why? Fuck this movie, why? Robot zombies. It's just the coolest. Who doesn't love robot zombies? They're the best. They're the best. Clearly, we have proven to you today that Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead is the best. Worst movie ever. But the rest is up to you to decide. Let us know how right Z is and how wrong Noob Noob is. I'm so wrong, it's right. But from all of us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, to all of y'all at home, catch us on the next one. Instagram, streaming, like, subscribe. Our Reviews Will Kill You, I think. It's Maybe. a thing. Unless we changed our name and I'm not aware. He changed his name. I farted. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh god. It stinks. Oh my god. <laughs> On to the next one. <laughs>